A truck uses gas according to this function right here with an A and a B in it, so that's pretty interesting. V represents the speed of the truck. G represents the gallons per mile, and A and B are constants. At what speed is fuel consumption minimized? So we want to find the speed V so that this function here is minimized. That's going to involve a derivative, of course, but first I want to rewrite the function so that it makes a little bit more sense to differentiate. Okay, now we can take a derivative, and because A is a constant, the derivative of AV with respect to V is just A. And the derivative here is going to be negative b v to the negative 2. You could, of course, write this as a v squared in the denominator if you'd like. But to find our critical points, we are going to set that derivative equal to 0. And we're going to solve for v. I multiplied both sides of the equation by v squared. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by a. And if you take a plus and minus square root of both sides of this equation, you get that v is plus and minus the square root of b over a. Okay, those are our two critical points. Um, a negative V probably doesn't really make sense in this case. So we will just take a look at the positive version of this critical point. And not only is it the critical point, but our question is answered. We should do a little bit of work to verify that this velocity does minimize this function instead of maybe maximize it. And there's a couple different ways to do that. You can use the first derivative test, and also there's a second derivative test that we could use. But we can work on that another time. Let's just assume that this all checks out. This is the velocity, square root of b over a, whatever those two constants are, that is going to minimize our fuel consumption. 